latest on Hurricane Larry, which is intensifying in the eastern Atlantic. Already a Category 1 hurricane at this point, intensifying faster than originally forecast. Currently at 13.4 degrees north, 32.8 degrees west. So far away from any landmass right now, but still a hurricane that's intensifying out there with winds of 80 miles per hour and a pressure of 985 millibars moving west-northwest at 20 miles per hour. The storm is likely to intensify as it continues out over the Atlantic Ocean. There it is right now with its wind field small at the moment, but models are indicating that it will rise quite significantly as it takes advantage of the very vast Atlantic Ocean. Currently then, looking ahead of the storm, it's far away from anything. 1807 miles from Barbados, 1894 from Martinique, 1956 from Antigua, 2413 from Bermuda and 2584 from Newfoundland. These are the places that the storm is most likely to affect, although it may end up missing all of them. There are no watches or warnings out there at the moment. The storm passed south of Cape Verde in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, uh, probably without incident, certainly no warnings were out. So here it is right now, uh, based on the latest estimates, National Hurricane Center have it at 75 miles per hour, but the uh, advanced Dvorak technique uh, estimates, the digital um, automated system, uh, has numbers a little bit higher, 85 to 90 miles per hour, and we could be seeing that in actuality fairly soon. National Hurricane Center expects a major hurricane from this storm, probably reaching Category 4 as it moves out into the open Atlantic. Obviously there's some deviations in the cone towards the Day 5 period and uncertainty, so we can't rule out anything really just yet. Uh, things could change pretty quickly over the course of the next few days. At the moment, uh, models are trending a little bit further towards the west, so we can't completely rule out the Lesser Antilles, but hopefully that cone will hold. Here's what the latest GFS model is showing right now. You can see the storm gathering pace and gathering size as it moves towards the subtropics and then into the mid-latitudes there, curving off towards the north. At the moment, the GFS is forecasting a complete recurvature with the storm peaking at Category 3 or maybe Category 4 status as it moves on towards the northwest. Rainfall estimates, you can see that uh, the rainfall band gets much larger as the storm grows um, pretty chunky by the end of it there, uh, but doesn't affect any land areas, at least that's what it's showing so far. Uh, we always have to point out, especially at this time of year, how the, uh, the projections can change with warm sea surface temperatures ahead of it. Um, the unexpected can happen in a month like September when the Atlantic is very busy. But at the moment we are looking at a clear recurvature. Sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm warming up there even as it curves towards the north. Temperatures around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. CTCX going out on a limb there forecasting a category 5 peak or at least borderline. National Hurricane Center calling for 140 miles per hour. Wind shear will be low for the next two days and more really, three maybe four days, so that will cause some significant strengthening and you can see the HWRF model I think it is on the southernmost envelope of the model consensus. Sea surface temperatures will drop a little bit and then start to rise again, relative humidity is looking decent. Latest satellite imagery shows this right now, this is uh, daylight uh, falling on um, Larry as it continues on a fairly westward motion at the moment and a few little uh, thunderstorms around it either side, little waves there, uh, but Larry is obviously the main part of the show. So Category 1 status looking decent for it as we look at the infrared imagery and ice starting to appear by the looks of things in that deep convection. A uh, big band on the left hand side of it there on the west, uh, but we'll keep monitoring Larry as it intensifies and we'll have automated satellite imagery on our channel on a live stream later today.